Y'all know what it is, man. The Texas Longhorns are back. They love telling us that we are not back. We are back. We beat Alabama. We won the Big 12 in our last year in the Big 12. Look, this first matchup with Texas. Actually, I'm going to start with Alabama and Michigan. That's the first matchup on Monday. <clears throat> Look, I know Alabama's been here before. And the way they've been looking, especially down the stretch now, beating Georgia in SEC title game. A lot of people are going to pick Alabama to win this game. They like the momentum Alabama has right now. But Michigan's been the best team all year. And I think that they can slow down Milrow. And I think that they are going to force him to beat to beat them with his arm instead of his legs. And I think he's going to fall short. I think Michigan is going to win this game. Um, Harbaugh is going back to the NFL. And I think that he at least <clears throat> gets a national title game uh, with this Michigan team. They're going to win a close one. And it's going to be lower scoring than usual. I'm going to go Michigan 24-21 over Alabama. Now, the second game that night is Texas versus Washington. Rematch of last year. They, play in, they played in the Alamo Bowl. Washington won. B. John Robinson didn't play. A lot of seniors didn't play in that game as they were preparing for the NFL. I don't know how serious to take that game. It was basically an exhibition. But I expect a very high-scoring game. Uh, Washington can score, man. They, they have Michael Penix and crew. He's got a great receiving corp. Oh, I think Texas is going to get it done in the end. Steve Sarkeesian is going to get some revenge on Washington, his former ball club. Um, I'm going to go Texas 38-35 in a classic high-scoring game. I think Texas has a defensive line to keep up with Washington and put pressure on Michael Penix. Washington's offensive line has been very underrated and very good this year. But I think they finally find some matchup problems there. They put pressure on Penix, and they win this game 38-35. I really like Texas. As well. Let's start off with our college football playoffs, man. And um, with that being said, man, let's uh, let's pick these games and uh, and see who goes to the national title game. So let's start off with our very first game. Um, it is going to be the Rose Bowl. Number four, Alabama versus number one, Michigan. Who you got? I'll jump Ooh, in. I'll go go ahead, see. <laughs> uh, look, man, uh, X made a bold prediction early on in the year. He said that it was over for Saban and his national championships and all that. Um, I actually agree with him. I agree with him earlier. But – after seeing them boys beat up on Georgia like they did, I'm going to take them to beat up on Michigan the exact same way. So I got Alabama over Michigan. Because okay. Harbaugh is the coach. Okay, I'm not mad at you. I think if you remember right after everything happened, I said, man, if you ask me today, Alabama would be my favorite because the way they've been playing. Yeah. But here's the deal. It's been so much time off since that moment. Since they beat George, it's been a long time. So, with that, I got the Michigan Wolverines knocking off the tide in this game. I just think Michigan, uh, we've heard all the, 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 the hardball stuff off the field. I think they're playing for a little bit more than just uh, this championship. They're playing for hardball. They're playing for each other like any other college is. But I think Michigan goes in there and knocks off Alabama. They're tired of hearing about the tide. They're, they're tired of hearing about uh, Milro and company. I think Michigan gets them. Well, I'm rolling with the tide, baby. In this oh. game. <laughs> um, Smart man. Um, JJ, Mc JJ McCarthy, that's the question, man. JJ McCarthy, he's going to have to throw the ball in this game. I think they're gonna they're gonna Alabama and Saban. When one thing about Saban, he tried to eliminate the number one factor, which is the running game. He's gonna they're gonna do whatever they can to stop that running game. They're gonna load up that box. I have a feeling that they will, and they're gonna force JJ McCarthy to to beat them with with guys 
like Robin Wilson uh, um, and the receivers that they got down in Michigan. And and I feel like Alabama, you, with that dual-threat quarterback with Jalen Milrow, they got that running game. They got the weapons outside. I think Michigan is a better – I think Alabama is a better team, and I'm taking Bama to win this game and beat Michigan. Hey, man. This All right, right, let's go to Hero, our next man, Heisman. Match. My Heisman pick for next year, man. Uh-oh. Okay. I might listen to you because you were right with your Heisman pick. <laughs> right. Um, um, all right, let's that's go to my the – That's just that's right now. Okay, let's go to the next the next matchup. It would be the last game. Um, play be playing on Monday. Number three, Texas versus number two, Washington. All right, I'll go. Um, I got Texas, man. Oh, I got oh. Texas. Um, <laughs> I, I, I just don't think that – I don't think Washington has really done enough to impress me this whole year. They uh, – Michael Penix, he's, he, he's been throwing the ball well, and um, they beat Oregon twice. But, I mean, I don't think Oregon – Oregon being your best victory, I, that doesn't impress me. That doesn't impress me enough, man. I think that uh, – I think that <coughs> Texas, by beating Alabama, although it was early, they did, they did set the tone for their season. And um, show what kind of team they can be if they play to the best of their abilities. And um, I think that they'll be running at the best of their abilities to show that they belong in this Final Four. And uh, they'll 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 beat they'll beat Washington. I don't think Washington really deserves to be there. I think Georgia could have been there instead of Washington. So I'll go with Texas. Okay, okay. Last year the Alamo Bowl, Washington knocked off Texas. Yep. Oh. Um, Looking for revenge. I'm gonna take the same approach I took with the Ravens and the Niners. Y'all know how I feel about Texas. I said Texas looked like the best team all year, but the more I look back at it, Jalen Burrow didn't throw the ball well in that game. He didn't play great that game, and Texas did dominate that game. But Michael Penix and Washington's been every every week. They they've been disrespected week in and week out. And they keep finding ways to win. They will knock off the Longhorns in this game. I got Washington, Michael Penix and company beating the Longhorns and making it to the national championship where they will take on the Michigan Wolverines. Nah. <laughs> <coughs> that that oh. would be the wackest final. <laughs> I'm not even sure I watched the game, man, to be honest with you. I'm going to watch it, baby, because nah, I'm the sports junkie. Well, X, I'm – That's going to be like the TCU I'm, game last year. I'm, I'm like you, but not really, though, because I don't think Texas deserves to be there. Wow. I think it, I think it should have been Georgia. Georgia. Um. With this game, man, I don't think Texas is a better team than Washington. I think Washington is just a better team. I think their Texas's offense is not as as consistent since that win against um, Alabama, and the last time and the last time we've seen uh, Texas playing up to that level was the Big Twelve Championship game. Throughout the rest of the season, this team has been a different team, a very beatable team. I think Washington, they've been a very good team. I think Washington, they got a chip on their shoulder right now where they feel like, you know, we deserve to be there. We are one of the best four teams. And obviously, you know, we know that Jaden Daniels did win the Heisman. You know, people down in Washington, uh, I mean, you could disagree with it all you want, but they believe Michael Penix should have won, won the Heisman. And wrong. I feel like, yeah, they, I mean, I mean, th th that's their opinion, but um, I think Michael Penix will put on a show and he's gonna, he, he's gonna have something to say about that. And I think, he, I think he's gonna outdo um, Quinn Ewers in this game. And, and I'm taking Washington to win this game. Wow, I thought I was going to be the only one to think Washington. Wow, okay. 
All right, man. Well, with that being said, man, uh, really quick though, man. Outside of you know the 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 two playoff games, is there any bowl games that you are looking forward to see coming up? Come on, man. LSU Malik Davis, man. Go break that record, big dog. Fine. Right. Yes. <laughs> but uh, but uh, Georgia, Georgia, I'll Georgia State's to another good one. I, I I was going to you said Georgia, Florida State. Yeah. Uh, I I, I think it's going to be a massacre. I think it's going to be a massacre. Um, um, you know, but just because, come on, man, Florida State, they got all these players opting out to play in. And, you know, the re- the main reason why they're there is Jordan Travis. He's not playing. Um, is Coleman playing? I don't know. If he's not playing, man, it's gonna be a it's gonna be brutal. It's gonna be real brutal out there. I just think that um I think that Georgia's gonna be pissed off that they didn't make the final four, so they're gonna go out there and beat the hell out of Florida State just to show them that uh there's no way you should have left the two time defending champions out of the out of the playoffs with one loss and you put one loss teams in the in the in the um finals. Um Okay, the two matchups that I'm looking forward to see <coughs> is the Georgia and Florida State, obviously. Not not that I think this game is going to get out of hand. I just want to see what how Florida State responds because their fans, their coach, their athletic director, all of them, they feel like they should be in the playoffs with the conference title. Hey, show us that you perfect. deserve to be there. Yeah, show us that you deserve to be there and beat Georgia. If you don't, we know that you don't deserve to be there. So I'm um definitely looking forward to that game. And then the, 